everyone. This is Jaime from The Last Tension Warrior. Hey, I want to thank everybody who's been going to my channel and subscribing and watching our videos. Uh, really excited to be able to share with you what we're doing here in Aikido, Intention Aikido. Um, you know, it's just basically just Aikido, and, and everyone uh, sees that because of Siva Sagal Sensei of Tension Dojo, and they refer to what he's doing as Tension Aikido. And Siva Sagal Sensei always said, I'm just doing Aikido. Um, but you know what? This is our brand. This is what, what, what we're doing. Uh, this is what I, my school's been doing for, uh, for a very long time now. Uh, tension, um, Aikido, I guess you can call it. Just Aikido, but Tension Aikido. And uh, what we're going to do, the last videos I did, I talked about our evasions. And, you know, everybody wants, everyone's asking me, oh, show me this technique or show me these things. But you know what? I'm going to tell you, Ukemi is by far the most important thing that you can learn in what you're doing. Because your ukemi precedes your throw in a huge way. If you want to learn how to be a, a do kota gaishi or iri minagi or do your evasions, learn how to be an exceptional uke. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over ukemi. And I know most of you are probably thinking, oh, he's going to do some rolls and he's going to do stuff like that. You know, I'm going to do some stuff. But we're going to go a little bit more further deeper into ukemi and what ukemi is to me. And ukemi to me is nothing but a, a responsive action based on something that has happened. Whether uh, someone... You know, how many of you guys have ran into a wall, okay? So, you didn't take very good of Kimmy. How many of you tripped and fell, scraped up your arms and elbows or whatever? That was very good Kimmy. Kimmy is being able to notice that on an instant and be able to act, not react. The reaction is going to be sometimes too late. How do you get to the point of acting upon something? And that's through your training. That's through all the stuff that you do in class. Everything you're doing over and over and over repetitiously to be able to ingrain in your mind and your body to just do what you need to do so that you can protect yourself from a fall, from a throw, whatever that may need to do. So I'm going to have Kevin come in here, one of my senior students, and Ukemi, if he's coming after me, boom, he relaxes, okay? As I come into him and he doesn't notice Kiyage, go slowly, okay? I'm going to come after him. I'm here, if I go do this, that's not very good Ukemi. I see people do that all the time. What are you afraid of? Just work on your okemi. I'm here, I'm just going to... And I'm going to move in the other direction. That's all I'm going to do. I don't care. Even though I knew that's going to happen again because we're training, i got to blank my mind out from that. No matter how painful that might have been or scary it was, my job is just to grab him. If my job is to go real kata, which real kata is just this here. Two shoulder guard. Real kata. That's my job. My job as an uke isn't to, to determine what he's going to do or his throw or to help him on a throw or anything. My job is to do my part and that is just to take ukemi. That's it. Okay? So as I do that again and he comes in and notice kiyage, I come after him. All I do is look. And we're just kind of going slow. And I just, I don't even know what's coming. That's it. Who cares? Doesn't matter. He's coming. He doesn't need to flinch. He's coming. Every single time. Okay? Why didn't he take his ukemi? Because it wasn't hard. It wasn't hard enough for him to take his ukemi. Can't tell you how many people do this. He's coming after me. And I barely touch him, and he, and he goes flying. What's that all about? Okay? If you want to learn how to really throw, learn how to have, be, be a good uke. Okay? Because I'm not going to take my ukemi unless I have to. Why waste all that energy for nothing? Okay? He's coming after me on another skyrocket. He took his ukemi. He didn't know I was going to do that. Okay? But he took his ukemi. Again. Very softly, he just does that. And he takes his ukemi. Okay? He's coming after me. He takes his ukemi. His job is to do that every time. It's not his job to anticipate, oh, well, I went this way last time, so I must be going this way the next time. And so what happens, and I see this in the dojos all the time. Kevin just got done throwing me over there, so this is what I do. I go after him, and I automatically go to this side. 
because that's what you're trained to do. When in my dojo, I'm here, he doesn't know which way I'm going to go, which, which way I'm going to throw him. And it doesn't matter what foot I have forward. I have this foot forward, which means I may throw him this way. As he's coming in, I may just switch my feet. I may step back as he's coming after me and do, do something different. Okay, so you can't make the decision as, okay, which way you want to go. That's up to the night. Okay? All right. So, enough of that part. What I want to cover is how, how, we, how you do the rolls. So, what I want to do is I'm going to demonstrate. I'm going to go through uh, towards the camera. And, you know, I see this in the dojo. People are coming out here and they're doing all this stuff, reaching out. You know, just relax your body. Everything should be nice and comfortable, nice and relaxed from here. I go down. It's like you're going you're gonna to bow at the hips. You're not going to do this. Okay? You're bowing and you're squatting out at the same time. So a little bit of squat. I look at where I want to go. My arms come in front of me. I use my arms. These are your blades. These, this is what you use. Everything. Okay? From here. And I place my foot where I want it to go. I decide that. What I want to do. Same thing with the back roll. In our back roll, if we just start in this position, we're here on your toes. Always on your toes. I do not know why people do this. Okay, I'll give you the example. I'm going to be in this position like this. I am going to do everything I can to stop him from pushing me back. Okay, He's, we'll see what happens. Go ahead. <laughs> okay, so I was able to hold him back a little bit. Watch the difference. Now I'm here. Go ahead. Now I'm using this to help me. I can stand up. Try this again. I'll be like this this time. He's going. I couldn't do that. I couldn't get my feet. I couldn't do this. By the time I tried to do this, he would push me back. So why in the heck would any of you guys in training ever do this? I see this fifth degree, fourth degree people doing this. It's like, why? You know, then I understand why all these other students do it, because they do it. Okay? You always want to be here and always be ready. One other thing about your okami, let's say uh, we're coming here, my uke takes, my, my nage takes me down, I'm on the ground, he's standing up, he's standing up, we're here. Okay? So he backs up a little bit. Don't move, stay right there. I see this in the dojo all the time and it irritates the heck out of me. And we train again. Why would he do that? You know, if I'm here like this, boom, I'm going to be here. And then I'm going to go, even though I'm attacking, that's what I'm going to do. Okay, you're always going to position yourself to train correctly. Okay, if he was coming after me, let's say, and I had him in some technique, and I'm going to come down here and I have him in a pin. Okay, I see this in the dojo all day long. Oh, I got my pin. And they walk away. And no one does anything about it. Okay? If, if you were training at my dojo and you did that with him and you went like this and walked away, he's going to grab you and take you down. Why wouldn't he not? Okay? That's his ukemi. This, I think, is proper ukemi. It's always being engaged and always being ready to attack me. So that I'm always ready to do what I need to do. Okay? I'm here. I have him pinned. Doing whatever I'm doing, I'm here, I'm controlled. I put my foot on in here. Some people say, oh, that's disrespectful doing that, whatever. Okay? I know that I have him controlled. This isn't gonna stop him for a long time. Just as it's gonna have my hands here until I can step away, he's not gonna grab me. I am doing what I need to do to teach my students to be able to protect themselves in any given situation, what they're doing. Okay? And, you know, we can have what if questions, what if this, what if that, all day long. All I know is that we're going to practice something, and from that, you elevate it. You add on to whatever you need. Like, for instance, notice Keage, he's coming after me, I strike, 
The notice gag is not going into the Adam's apple into the throat. It's starting actually from your chest here and sliding up into the hyoid area of the neck. And we're coming into this position here. So that when we train, we train to strike hard enough to take this person off his feet. If this person is trained well, I will feel that and it will give me the ability or anybody to be able to take the ukemi they need or give the, the person the ability to throw as you would in a real situation and give the uke the feel of what it takes to really be taken off your feet. And I hear people that say, oh yeah, this person threw me off the feet. I watch what they do and I'm like, are you guys kidding me? You guys are throwing yourselves. Most of the videos I see out on YouTube, everyone's just throwing themselves. And there's a point to that. There's a point that he's going to go along with me to a point. Okay? He's doing that because he's going to learn to ride my throw. As he's coming harder, here, he's going to ride that. He comes harder, he's right, he, rides, he rides that. He learns to, to let his body relax. He rides this point. Here, he rides. He rides that ukemi. He relaxes his body and allows his body to ride my throw so that he didn't have to expend all that energy. But the only way that he can do that is if he overcomes fear. Most of those people that I see out there training are afraid to attack in a more honest way because the strikes come in a little harder and they don't know how to respond to that. What we do in Tenshin Aikido that I've seen is the only school that actually does that. That actually attacks in such an honest way, hard way, and they're able to respond instantly to whatever the Nage does so that they can take through Kemi and they can come back and do it again. I've trained with people all, all over the place. I've traveled all over the place. Now, I didn't go hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of schools, but you know what? I too, went to a lot of different schools there, and, and watched what they do and just, I want to meet new people and, and train with people. And, and some people say, oh, this soft stuff is all crappy and stuff like that. You know, maybe to some, but you know, there are some good things that you can pull from from anybody. So I go to learn, uh, meet new people, and see how can I do what I'm doing better? And how can I be a service to my students better and to whoever else wants to train? So um, I'm gonna show you a little bit more new Kemi. This is it for about right now. But uh, I just wanna say that you guys gotta just train a little bit harder. If you wanna go up to those next levels, just train harder, train more uh, what you're doing, be more specific in what you're doing, and don't be afraid to, to start striking a little bit harder. You gotta, you gotta trust in what you're doing in Aikido. If you don't trust in doing Aikido, then you're not gonna be training as hard as you need to because you're too afraid to hurt somebody, okay? So learn how to uh, you know, be for one another in the dojo and just have fun with it, but you know, train hard. And uh, if, these, uh, if you guys wanna see anything else in these videos that I'm doing, just let me know. Shoot me a little note, uh, message, and hey, I wanna see a little bit of this, I wanna see a little bit of that. So uh, we're going to do a little bit more on this next time, uh, but I'm going to have two videos come out at the same time, uh, one on Ukemi, and, uh, and there's going to be another little surprise of what I'm going to uh, be able to share with you guys. So anyways, thank you for watching, um, and I'll see you guys next time.